So I was looking around my office earlier today and I noticed a few things that I don't think I've ever mentioned in videos and I'm not even sure that I've put them on my website in the past. Uh, they also have kind of a common theme that I thought might make an interesting video. So here we are. This is, as you may be able to tell, a rock. But the interesting part of the rock is the part that you can't see right now. So let's turn it around. And yes, there we are. This is in fact a naturally occurring rock with this shape that an artist has uh, decided to paint as Jabba the Hutt, and that's a decision I wholly approve of, as you might imagine. It's a really pretty good uh, rendition of Jabba there, I think, and uh, a lot of detail. You can take a look, there's the actual, actual rock. You can see on the bottom it says EMB 2013, so I got this presumably in 2013 if I think back, seven years ago. Um, EMB, I'm, I'm guessing, is the name of the artist, uh, the initials. I, I don't, at this point, have uh, records of who did this, unfortunately. If you happen to be that person by some a miracle, uh, feel free to chime in. But anyway, I thought it was rather well done. But that's not all. They actually included something else. This uh, sort of thin piece of slate, or whatever this is, as well. Also signed and dated 2013, which has salacious crumb on it. And the cool thing about this is that it's sort of angled just right to fit right here on Jabba's tail. Nice. But that's not all. I actually have another rock painted like Jabba the Hutt because of course I do. Just a moment. So here we have the rock. Now this one has been entirely painted, but I'm showing you the back right now just to allow me to make the dramatic reveal. Uh, you can see it's generally shaped like Jabba. And if we turn it around, there he is. I thought that was uh, pretty clever as well. Got this general shape that you make use of and then have his tail kind of being folded in front of him like that. This artist as well also gave a sort of a companion piece for this, although instead of being Salacious Crumb, it is Han and Carbonite. Now in this case, this is not a naturally occurring shape like this. This is a piece of rock with some pebbles glued to it, I, I'm assuming, because that's sure what it looks like. But still, uh, rather clever. And, you know, you've got all the details there. So I thought that was, that was cute. I've been having these displayed in my office for years and <laughs> just never really posted anything about them. But I do have one further thing that I have posted about, at least on my website. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned it in a video though, so let's go and take a look at that right now. The last item I'd like to show you today is this figurine carved from lemon quartz stone. This I got from a seller in Thailand. They were just, I don't know why, selling this. Uh, I think this is the only one they made. They probably did a variety of sort of pop culture uh, characters and things like that, but uh, as far as I know, this is the only Jabba that I've seen. And it's pretty well done, you know, it's carved right into the into the quartz and uh, it still is nice and clear. If you look at it up in the sunlight in particular, it's quite beautiful. A little hard to see maybe in this lighting. But uh, yeah, just thought I would share that today. And I think you can all agree with me that Jabba rocks.